Social roots are about how we interact with others. Social roots help us deal with the challenges associated with an increasing technology and operating in a 24-7 social media world. According to Edelman's Trust Parameter from 2017, the general population's trust in all four key institutions is at an all-time low. Businesses, government, NGOs and media. So leaders are not doing a good enough job engaging the hearts and minds of their people. In addition, with the blending of human beings and digital machines, our ability to connect with our people is more important than ever before. One of the interesting things is that we're far more connected to one another than we think we are. We are connected by mirror neurons. So if someone smiles at you, that smile and energy affects you because of the mirror neurons going back and forth. Or if you go to a dental surgery, you can feel someone else's pain when you hear the sound of a drill. We are wired together and relationships are like social electricity. We either energize or we de-energize people and grounded leaders energize their people. So what are the early warning signs for declining social health? Well, first, an inability to build and participate on strong teams. Difficulty building peer relationships. Inability to see other viewpoints. Decreasing desire for productive collaboration. Difficulty leading or following others. And a tendency to ostracize others with different perspectives. So what can you do to enhance your social roots? Well, it starts with authenticity. Are you real with integrity? People are hungry to have relationships with real people. Do you share your vulnerability or do you see it as a weakness? Do you share the more personal aspects of who you are? The second route that makes up social health is mutually rewarding relationships. So do you have the courage to give people direct, honest feedback? We create these massive metric-driven performance management systems but these keep us from having real, honest, courageous conversations in the moment. Mutually rewarding relationships are characterized by deep listening, integrity, and appreciation towards others. And last, nourishing communities. Belonging to a group that strives towards common goals can make you feel energized and forms bonds that transcend time and space. When working in teams, observe the energy and attitude of the team and use language that is about we rather than I. This helps focus your energy on the team rather than your own agenda. So someone who exemplifies social health is Angela Ahrens. She is Apple's senior VP of retail and is someone who exemplifies strong social roots. Staying grounded in her spiritual side has served her phenomenally well. Ahrens was not only the first woman on Apple CEO Tim Cook's executive team, but the first person at Apple to be charged with the big job of reconciling the digital shopping experience with the bricks and mortars one. Nearly every article in Ahrens' career mentions her open embrace of her roots. She grew up in New Palestine, Indiana, with a population of only 2,091 in a family of six kids. She talks often of her parents and how they taught her to always be sensitive to other people's needs and feelings. She believes in building relationships with employees first and then customers. During a TEDx talk given in Hollywood in 2013, Erin's explained how she believes grounded leadership is, at its core, a function of love. No motivational speeches or incentive programs would boost sales more than a background in which every staffer felt valued as individuals. A mode of energy transcends normal communication and rational ways of working. It inspires people to do and give more. Her former COO at Burberry, Andy Janowski, confirms that unleashing human energy is perhaps Erin's greatest leadership strength. She gets people to work harder than they've ever worked before by just letting them know how important they are and how much the team relies on them.